So here I'm going to show you how to add mods to Skyrim. To start off, mods are done in the Steam Workshop when it comes to Steam by itself. You can also do mods with the Nexus Mods website or there's other websites. Uh, I've seen them on Reddit, but it's a lot easier to use the Steam Workshop. It's popular and it has most of the mods. So there's a few ways you could get there. First, you can go to Community Workshop and then you can search Skyrim or any game that you want here under Browse All Workshops. There are a bunch of games and it's, it's really confusing when you first start it. So I like to, to just go to the game yeah, on the left uh, where there's the list of games. So you click on the game and you will see workshop here and you go to browse the workshop however not all games have workshops some games are not moddable on steam uh, so like Grand Theft Auto 5 there is no workshop uh, Mountain Blade there is a workshop meaning that there are uh, mods however some games require you to copy and paste the mod into the game so that's Warband. Skyrim, on the other hand, is a game that automatically installs the mods when you subscribe to them. So it's like YouTube where you subscribe to it and you get the, the, the mod. And mods are compatible. I have, I think, 70 mods in my Skyrim. Uh, so what, what you basically do is you go to uh, the mod itself in the categories so there's there's a bunch of different categories and a whole bunch of different mods but we could just test one by clicking on it and then subscribing this one's about women I guess so look at that that's nice um, and then you click subscribe subscribe and when you go to the game and play it it's it actually installs the mods right here you see this well it doesn't install it there but it shows you them being installed and you have to wait until the end of all the mods being installed before you play it and on top of that uh, sometimes you have to work on the uh, mod order or the order at which they're loaded and it can greatly affect your gameplay with a higher number of mods there are some people that have mods like 200 plus mods and in that case you really do have to use the data files right here and when you click on it you can modify the load order some some are needed before the other ones like this one is a forbidden magic pack the first one is needed before the second one so if I were to do this I don't think it would work that well so I already have mine already ordered and it, it works out just like this so I'm actually going to uns unsubscribe now leave it I'll leave that that uh, that mod just because it'll be interesting to see um, so another thing not to forget is that there are categories which uh, there are a lot of mods so don't think you're not gonna get the best here you are gonna get the best uh, Nexus mods has a lot of mods on it but this one does too and you will get what you need to get on the workshop so uh, thanks for watching this video leave a like